Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 25120. This preview comes with some new features and changes but they're not tied to any specific release of Windows 11. However, we're expecting them to arrive with version 23H2. But Microsoft may choose to include or discard any of these features at any time. Some of this feature may even roll out ahead of the next feature update. Okay, here what's new on Windows 11 build 25120. In this flight, Microsoft is introducing a new search widget, which is an experimental feature that allows you to perform quick searches from the desktop. The widget is a floating search box that appears center at the top of the screen. When you type a query, for example, Windows 11, you will see some suggestions. And when you press enter, the result will appear on Microsoft Edge using Microsoft Bin. The only caveat is that the feature does not respect your default browser or the search engine preference. For example, I do have Google Chrome set as the default, as you can see right here. And if we go to Microsoft Edge, we go to settings, and then we check that we have the search engine set as Google, but still the feature chooses to use this browser and Microsoft Bing to show me the results. The feature comes enabled by default, but you can always disable it by right clicking the desktop and going to show more options and then you just need to clear the show search option however it is odd that the company has chose to add the option into the legacy interface instead of using the modern menu that should have been somewhere in here as part of the active development for the next feature update of windows 11 microsoft is also introducing a feature called suggested actions which is a feature that brings up inline suggestions to create events or make a phone call by copying a date, time, or phone number. If you copied a phone number, the inline will suggest to make a call using Microsoft Teams or another app available on your computer. Copying a date or a time will suggest creating a calendar event and when you choose the app, the event will be created with all that information already filled in. The option is available through the clipboard settings and it's this one right here. And if you don't like it, you can disable it by turning it off. For some reason, it worked before installing the new preview build of Windows 11, but now it's not working. Like by right clicking a phone number and selecting the copy option, should pop the inline suggestions, but it's not working. For that reason, I had to show you this screenshot from Microsoft. And that's it, that's pretty much all that's new on the early development for the next feature update of Windows 11, which is expected to arrive during the second half of 2023. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.